my kids in college to help people get through college. And I was just scrolling through it one day and I stumbled upon this lesson and it inspired me to write this. Uh, I have a lot on my heart to say to you guys today. We'll see if I can communicate it all. If not, if it doesn't make sense, I apologize. But we're going to go with this, alright? So, I am such a loser. I know you guys know that, but... <laughs> or uh, some, of you, some of you might uh, think that I can't do anything right. But uh, I'm pretty sure we all have felt this way at some points about, about ourselves, about other people. And you feel really worthless a lot throughout your life. There's many times where you just think, wow, I'm not good at anything. This thanks. Um, some of these times for me could have been I do something wrong at work, and my boss chews me out for the next five hours about it, and then I feel, wow, I really can't do anything right. I can't even wash cars or run go-karts. That's embarrassing. And then there's also the time I played baseball, and like I struck out five times in a game, I think, <laughs> once. And you know, walking back to the dugout after the fifth time, it's kind of, I feel really low. I, mean, I can't even hit a little ball with a bat. Uh, and there's like these, even the small moments where I didn't get perfect on a song on Guitar Hero and Easy. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> or I think I think my brother might have felt worthless when he realized that my kill to death ratio on Call of Duty 2 is higher than his. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of little times like that. Uh, but one of the reasons I wanted to do this Bible study was uh, some of you read my note that I wrote at college um, about missing the youth group and about how. I had a rough time finding my place in college. When I first got there, uh, as some of you know, I was really overwhelmed by college life. There was a lot of things I was never really shown before in the little sheltered town of Mannheim. Uh, I was just, wow, I'm not going to fit in here. It's going to be really hard for me to get by these next four years. Um, I felt worthless. I wasn't making that many friends. It was really hard for me to relate to people, especially because they were using swear words and doing all the talking about all these things that I had no clue what they were talking about. I was just like, there's no way I'm going to have a good fun four years here. I remember the third day I called my parents, I said, I'm transferring after the semester. I wanted to go to a better place for me, um, like a Christian college or something. Uh, I really didn't see the point of me being there. I was felt, literally, I felt worthless being at Washington College where I currently am. But I'm here to tell you today, there's no reason for any of us to feel worthless. Because no matter how you see yourselves, or how the world sees you, you can be assured that God sees every single one of us as worthwhile. Okay? First John chapter 3, verse 1, Pastor LaSalle used this in his sermon today. He kind of stole some of my material. <laughs> but uh, it says, it says uh, How great is the love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called the children of God. God thinks we are so worthwhile that he considers us his children. And I realized this at college when I decided to place my worth in God. I, one night I was walking to a meeting and I was, it was the lowest point I would had there and I just said, God, I don't know why I'm here. I don't know anyone here who I'm going to get along with. I need you to show me where I'm supposed to be. I put all of my worth, what I was at college, into God. And at that point, he showed me the reasons for me being there. Five minutes after I said that prayer, I got recruited to be on the rowing team, which is now probably one of my favorite things in the world. I have a group of friends, and I believe I can be a light to that team. Five minutes later after that, I went to my first campus Christian fellowship meeting. I found a place where I can meet other Christians at college. We got along well. And I was introduced to one of my best friends, who's now who's the current Bible study leader, and I, and I found out that I'm leading Bible study next semester. So after I put my worth in God, God showed me that, Ryan, you're not worthless here. You are going to be a light to this campus. I want you to lead men's Bible study next semester, which is what I'm going to be doing. So even in the moments where you feel really worthless, God has a reason for you to be it there at that moment. It's not worthless. Nothing's ever worthless. You're never worthless to God. He always has a reason and value in you. There's a Spanish saying, and if you didn't know, I'm a business major with a Spanish double major, so I, Spanish is my thing. I love this. So I'm going to give you guys a little lesson today. The Spanish saying, valer la pena, and that means to be worthwhile. To be worthwhile means valer la pena. Now, because I'm a nerd for Spanish, I've dug really deep into this. We're going to look at the literal translation of this saying. So valer is a verb, 
and it means to have worth or to be worth something. That's the word valer, okay? And la pena means a penalty, a hardship, or trouble. So when you put it together, if you're telling someone uh, vales la pena, which means you are worth it, you're literally telling them you're worth whatever I'm about to do. You're worth whatever hardship or penalty I'm going to encounter as I do this for you. That's the literal translation of what you're telling them. So this is the attitude that God takes for each one of us, his children. He tells us that, he says, valemos 